Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to a new episode of Words of Wellness. Uh, today we are talking about, we're going to be talking about uh, independence versus dependence. We're going to be talking about interdependence. Uh, so it's all actually psychological terms and the dependent personality and uh, you know it's it's very interesting so uh, I would like you to pay attention to what we're gonna say because we have a beautiful hadith with us to a translation of the hadith and we're gonna read that and we're gonna get back to our discussion about dependence independence and dependent personality and interdependence uh, and we'll see what we can gain out of it. So let's go and read the hadith. Uh, from Sahl ibn Sa'd radiallahu anhu, who said that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Jibreel came to me and said, O oh Muhammad, live as you will, for you must certainly die. Love whom you will, since you must certainly leave him. Act as you will, since you shall certainly be given due reward for it. Know that the believer, the believer's immense is his standing in prayer during the night, and his honor is having sufficiency without dependency upon the people. Having sufficiency without dependency upon, upon the people. It's actually very important. So let's just think here for a minute. We have a lot of problems in society. Uh, now we're going to talk about social psychology just for a minute. We have a lot of problems in family. We have a lot of problems individually, with individuals. Why? Because we have what we call dependent personality. What is a dependent personality? First, let me explain what a personality is. A personality is what we gain uh, from our values, teaching, from our parents, from the way we brought up, we are brought up, from our experience. So a personality is something that we gain. There is something else that comes before personality that's called the innate nature. Every human being is born with a nature, and then this nature could be corrected. It cannot be changed. It could be corrected, but it cannot be changed. Uh, how is that? Because it's something that I'm born with it. What can I do then? I can play with the personality. If I want to uh, modify my nature somewhat, I have to aid the personality to do that. Or I can actually instill it with the personality. So with that, let's jump to the dependent personality. What is a dependent personality? Dependent personality is usually somebody who is born, is what we call his nature is, it could be sanguine for instance. Sanguine is somebody who is just uh, calm, who you can see it even in his eyes or her eyes, they're calm, they're not fiery, they uh, don't like to do a lot of movements or things like that. So that's their nature. And then what happens? Comes the upbringing, the teaching uh, of their parents. They can actually make that habit strong in them or, or they can break it. The dependent personality is a child that his parents did everything for him to the point that uh, that child will grow up to be what? Dependent on them and on everybody. For instance, you find a lot of uh, emotionally unbalanced youth, emotionally unbalanced young men and young women that they just sit there, they don't want to do anything. Why don't they want to do anything? Uh, because they have been accustomed to the fact that their parents do everything for them. Now, when parents do things for their children and everything for the children, they actually are doing them harm. And let me tell you why. When parents do that, 
they take away from the kids' ability to uh, be responsible for their own th their their own self. Uh, they take their ability uh, from being uh, taking chances and going out there. Uh, and at the same time, you find out that the parents would turn around and tell their kids, "Well, you don't know how to do anything. Let me do it for you." Whether, whether this was or this is a spoken message or an implied message, that's what the kid end up having, is that they don't want to do anything, and they're afraid of taking chances, chances, and they're afraid of doing anything. Why? Because they didn't develop the wings to fly. So if, if they didn't develop the wings to fly, how are they going to take chances and just go out there in the life? Uh, and face daily life. Now, you have the dependent personality. As the kids grow older and older, fat parents start getting fa fitting, they get fed up with them. They get upset. Uh, what's the matter? They don't want to go out. They don't want to work. They don't want to do this. They don't want to do that. And then confrontations start between both of them. Uh, sometimes kids would say, well, excuse me, you say, well, it's not my fault. You guys brought me up this way. That's not my fault. Well, that's why we're talking about that. It's very imperative to teach your kids to be independent at different life stages. They have to live independently. They have to, the goal that we're going for in here, not total independence, because not a human being can live totally alone without people. You have to live with people and not total dependence because this is like the opposite ends of the pendulum. One is dependence and one is independence. We are actually, as human beings, we are interdependent. You know, we go into dependency and independency. We do things with people, for people, and we do things alone. That's what we need to teach our kids. Uh, so let's see what we have to relate that to the hadith. If I actually am teaching my kids all of this stuff psychologically and religiously and spiritually, you are going to have a sound child that is able to carry responsibility in their life. You are going to have a sound child that is eager to attack life and do what they have to do and take chances to see if what they were taught is correct or incorrect or what. And hopefully it is correct. So now we need to be interdependent. You can't be totally dependent. You can't be totally independent because a human being cannot live alone. And the best way to do this is to deal with the people socially. You have to get with them socially. You have to give and take, give and take. And we're not talking about material stuff. We're talking about emotional things. We're talking about teaching. We're talking about knowledge. We're talking about material stuff. We're talking about everything. So that's what you need to do. Um, I hope that this was a good message because as I'm sitting here and I'm doing this, I am learning again. I learn every day. And that's what we need to do at home too. We learn every day. So I'll leave you for today. And we'll meet again uh, in a new episode of our program. Thank you very much. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.